Hey, what's up everyone? Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California. We're going to do another breakdown here today on Carlin Isles, the rugby player from the USA, uh, widely renowned as the fastest rugby player ever. Uh, and there's obviously no no proof for that. I don't think there's any like combine or anything like that to, to, um, to be able to participate in rugby. And, and um, even within that, I would, I would imagine that it'd be different from different country to country, but uh, definitely a very fast guy, definitely a well-renowned guy within the uh, the rugby community. I just typed in on uh, YouTube, fastest rugby player, and this is who came up. So I thought, hey, you know, want to get into different um, different sports, the different applications of speed, uh, and I think this is a, a good guy to be able to see, that, especially because of his um, acceleration. And that's what we're going to get into first here, is we could see um, Carlin here, he's getting the ball, he's like kind of on the edge of the, uh, of the field. And uh, when he initiates that takeoff, notice how, um, you know, right here, he's, he's much more upwards in his overall range of motion. And then as he begins to want to take off, he really lowers that, that center of gravity a lot. And this allows, and, and he changes that spine angle a lot too. So you can see how, you know, now he's mu much more bent forward. Um, and then from there, he's going to be able to um, get a lot more push back, right? So see, see that angle there within his spine and, and, um, this allows him to not get as much range of motion within his hips, so he can't drive his knees much, but we get a lot more force from our glutes, so um, he's really trying to get much more uh, activation from that, from that posterior chain, being able to really push off, and you can see um, with that push off, how, and we talk about this a lot with, with sprinters, how he pushes off and really drives that, um, that heel right to his butt, so he's really getting a good vertical push, even though he, his body is much more aligned to be moving more horizontal, and this makes it so he can get that really fast uh, acceleration quickly. Notice how the the guys that he's running against here, how uh, they're pushing and uh, they're, they're going much more vertical with the press um, compared to Carlin here who's, who's doing a much better job of getting that heel right up to his butt. Okay, And then as he you know starts to get his speed going and he, he starts to be able to, to open up, now we can see where he gets more into that, that knee drive, uh, gets into that extension within the knee, a lot of the key things that we end up seeing, but notice how how different his spine angle is here now compared to where it was when he first kind of started going here at the beginning. So see, notice that spine angle at that point, and then as he gets around, and now he's hitting his top speed. Now he's much more upright and and able to to really open up, and now he's he's letting that leg, those legs get even more uh, back behind him, um, and also getting more knee knee drive and hip flexion as well. So. Um. Yeah, definitely an interesting thing to to see there. Got another one here. So now he gets around the corner. You can see kind of how he starts. I mean, this time that's the th difference between um you know some of the track videos that we do, and then um this one will be you know he has to actually avoid um getting taken to the ground by uh by other guys. So you know he has to be able to stiff arm and change his center of gravity and things like that. But now. Um, he's back into the open field. Notice here, uh, again, he, he's very good at getting that, that knee drive um, and getting that that leg out in front of him, right, and that foot out in front of him, and then pulling back and landing with his uh, his whole foot, head all in one fairly uh, straight line, extending out, driving, everything nice and, and aligned there as, as he lands. And this ends up being really a key thing no matter what the sport is, right? It just shows that there are certain biomechanics that are very, very important. Look at that, that knee straight. Um, getting that foot out in front, and, and really being able to get that foot off the ground when you get that foot out in front. So a lot of times, once you um, once that foot gets that far out, there becomes a difficulty of being able to drive that leg back underneath, uh, but we can see that, that Carlin does an excellent job of being able to maintain that that foot outside, being able to, to get that nice, solid um, turnover, being able to, to then drive that foot up and through, and keep the, the foot off the ground pretty well as he's driving through and driving back, okay? So... Um, a very important thing is going to be being able to, um, really for all athletes, rugby players, um, you know, sprinters, football players, you got to be able to get that foot out in front, have some height in that foot, right? So see how much that foot's off the ground, because then you can go ahead and pull that foot back behind you. Um, and then as long as you're getting that, that vertical force, again, notice how he's pushing off and he's driving that heel right up to his butt. As long as you're getting that vertical force, you're going to be able to um, create a lot more effective turnover as a sprinter and as a runner, uh, and that ends up being um, really the 
the, the most important part of speed is, is your ability to um, get, get very, very fast turnover. The better your turnover is, the, the, the more you can, um, the more and faster cycles that you have with each one of your steps, uh, the faster all, overall you're going to be. Of course, it's great to have a uh, long stride length uh, too, but uh, just if you d develop stride length, you're not going to necessarily be very fast. It's good. It relies a lot on uh, your overall ability to turn over. So um, as always, guys, thanks for watching these videos. We wanted to change it up a little bit on you and make it so we have a uh, more of a speed mechanic uh, video that is oriented towards rugby players, if any of you guys are rugby players that are watching. So um, any interest in, in any of our online stuff, you can go and check it out. We have a free ebook. Uh, we also have our 12-week online um, speed program. Awesome stuff. Always trying to create more value for you. Uh, as always, thanks for watching these videos, guys, and we will see you soon.